Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share with you how I've actually organized my Right Start math materials. Um, my last video I shared the unboxing of all of those manipulatives and now they all needed a home. So I thought, let me go ahead and do this to the fullest because I'll be using this curriculum for a while. So I wanted to have something that would pretty much contain all of the manipulatives and the manuals and workbooks. So I, I found this box at a thrift store. It came with the top and I just felt like it was perfect because I could file everything in the box just so. I tried to use like a, um, what is it, like a 13 by 13 cube and it was too small. You could probably use two of those, but I just really wanted to be able to pick it up and go downstairs to the deck or um, on the dining room table or wherever. Even though we uh, mostly do, do this in our school room, I just want to be able to pick this up and go. So because we'll be using this curriculum for so long, as the plan is through fifth grade, we will see, but um, so far so good. I just wanted to have everything together. So what I did, like I said, I got this box from a thrift shop and then I got these mesh bags off of Amazon and I labeled them using these little dollar store tags and I um, used my label maker and I just put it on. I don't know why this isn't focusing for me. So this is like the money deck um, and coins in this bag right here. So obviously you can see through it but it's also got the label on it. Um, if my mom or my husband step in to help they can just follow along with the lesson and have everything they need um, right here and it makes it easier for me to set up so I don't have to go pulling out everything before each lesson. It's all right here. And so the way I've decided to break up the manipulatives is by um, kind of category, the like with the like. That's kind of how I organize everything. So you just saw the money deck with the coins, right? And then here I have the clock with the clock, the clocks with the clock deck. And so I'll just kind of go through and show you how I have this. I put the abacus tiles with um, the tally sticks just because looking through the lesson, I saw that these were used together quite a bit so I put those together here are 10 base cards and centimeter cubes just felt they weren't together all the fraction deck and fraction tiles are in here the fraction board is big and it's actually back there you know the multiplication um, deck and broken up by its multiples here are the um, colored tiles all in here and the geometric solids in there and so that's how I went about breaking up all of the um, all of the manipulatives that are in this, um, oh, I need to tie that one on better. It fell off for me. Um, and these are the, um, basic money, uh, basic number cards in there. And, um, sorry, I kind of lost some train of thought. I hear the kids outside playing. <laughs> um, but that's how I have, um, all of these broken up because there are so many and I feel like there's probably so many ways you could do it that just made the most sense to me. Over here in this little container, I just got this from Target. I've had it for a long time and I um, use this to put the money deck, um, the money deck, <laughs> the number deck. The kids have been playing a game. Um, this is a pretty intensive uh, game, multi-sensory uh, curriculum. So it's not as heavily worksheet based as some other things that we've used. So I just put that there because they're really liking to play that so they can just come grab them out and play the game with or without me. And I have another one of those that I got from Target and it just holds the weights. And that is the math balance. I actually store them right beside the shelf. I just pulled this over so you could see that did not fit in here. And I didn't want to have to keep taking it down and putting it back together. So they just sit beside the shelf. Now the uh, place value cards I have organized in these, which are also from the dollar store. I love the dollar store for finding uh, um, inexpensive things to organize um, our home and homeschool with. So I just have the cards broken up in here. As you can see, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And so the boys both needed one. So I just gave them each their own uh, organizer that way. And so I don't have to grab anything else or go searching for anything else. All of our writing utensils are in here. So my dry erase marker, eraser, um, pens and pencils are all in here. Here are, here's um, each of their abacus. 
And then I have the manuals and workbooks and the directions for, um, for the, all the money, all of the money. Why do I keep saying that money is on my mind? All of the um, card games are in here. So this is a SME folder. I actually use these to organize all of my curriculum. So if you use like the good and the beautiful, and you know, it might be divided up uh, for their science, for example, by six lessons. I'll just have six folders in here and divide up everything by the lessons. And maybe I'll share that in another video. But in here, I have the songbook, like I said, the boys' workbooks, the instruction manual for the games. Here's the actual teacher's manual. And here's a folder for any stray papers or uh, scrap paper that we may use and I just want to hold on to. So that is what is in that folder and so that just goes like that and this one i have um the geometric set so or the geometry set rather so i have the geo boards in here the panels in here all the rulers are in here uh, so that just fits i thought that fit well in there to keep all those together since they really wouldn't fit in the mesh bags Behind that, I have our whiteboard that comes with it, uh, our calendar, which does not come with their curriculum, and then the fraction board, which does come with the curriculum, and then the um, reflector is over here. So I was able to fit everything in here. I think it goes in nice and neat, and I uh, can find everything. The boys can find things. My husband can find things. I'm trying to put this back. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I like that it fits on the shelf. It hangs off a little bit, which I don't love, but I don't think anything's gonna be perfect. But I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I will link the bags that I got. I got these off of Amazon. Like I said, these are these tags are from the dollar store. These are from Amazon. And this, I'll just link the dimensions of this box just in case you're interested in doing something like that. You can probably find these pills. Um, at the dollar store or maybe even at the target spot still i got them a long long time ago uh, and also just in case you're interested this is my label maker that i used for these tags uh, for these labels and labeling this this label actually is from michael's and this is my other uh label maker so that is it actually no here are the um, tags from the Dollar Tree that I used on the mesh bags. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I think it's pretty simple and it's been really um, working for us. I can find things easily, my boys can find things easily, and it wasn't too expensive. So I love all of that. If you like this, please um, comment below letting me know what you found helpful about this, what you may have done differently. I'd love to hear that actually. So. Um, yeah, I will be back with another video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will chat with you guys soon.